Oh wait. Yeah, switch. Because I have. Oh, that's and right. I uh, sit. I forgot. If you need to, you I'm can. Good. You can turn it off here if you want. The chairs. If you want to, it's up oh, to wait. you. It's fine. Yeah, if you. T I can play space, move myself in here. I think. Well, or I, I can just like sit like this. This is great. I mean, it's up, to you. It's, <laughs> it's up to you. You can turn off the chairs and then do it that way, but it's really up to you. Unless I'm lagging, I don't know what's up with that. Uh, oh, it might be. Is it me? No, it's not. I don't know. <laughs> is it you? Let me look away. I Remember? hope it's not me. I don't think so. No, I think you're fine. So whatever. I'm getting 45. It's good enough. I don't know. Some some things cause lag. Some don't. I mean, I think it's because I keep opening my o Oculus Dash, and when I do that, like it lags. The computer explodes. Mic dying? No, my mic isn't dying, guys. It's just that uh, it's it's like glue. It's like glued to my headphones because I have a Mod Mic Five, and uh, it's a sec it's just like a microphone, like kind of like a lav mic. It's really good, and um. I just glued it to my headphones. Normally you uh You glued it? Yeah, super glued it. Oh my god. <laughs> well it has Mine's like a thing. A I can I, I can yeah, it's on a magnet, I can take it off, see? And I just put it back on. Cool. Oh, okay. But like the pad <laughs> that it connects to, like the magnet part is attached to the headphone. I see. Glue. Yeah, mine keeps falling out. Yeah, that's why I use gorilla glue and it's just super glue so it'll never fall off. Anyway, um, it's seven o'clock. It's it's time to start. So, are you ready to go? Ooh, yeah. All right, let's get her done then. <clears throat> Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to my show. That's me, that one rebel. Uh, late night of rebel. <laughs> Cleverly named. I am uh, here <laughs> with my guest. Uh, introduce yourself. I'm Flashy Cloud. <laughs> uh. Am I meant to say something about myself? Sure, go ahead. Well, what's more to to you than your name? Um, I was originally an artist, but I picked up VR a few months ago, so here I am. I think you're still. I've an been artist. drawing for for six years now. Yeah, I am. <laughs> six but years. yeah, it's been nearly six years. Yeah, I looked at my DeviantArt, and it was made in January 2014. Damn. I remember having DeviantArt like a long time ago. I never posted. Well, I used to post. I used to draw like ten years ago, but I did like in paint, <laughs> like act, like just paint, <laughs> and then I just like drew like I don't know. I I was like it was like ten years ago at this point in time, and I used to draw like little. I tried to draw anime women, and it would just look like ugly <laughs> stick figures. And, um, uh, that was a long time ago. We don't talk about those days anymore. I don't think anyone could find it anyway. It's, not, it's a completely a different name and never, I don't even know the login for it anymore. But yeah, so, I think yeah. my username is completely different on DeviantArt as well. So, yeah, we don't talk about that. <laughs> yeah, we don't talk about those old days. We talk about <laughs> the more recent days. So, my first question is, how did you get into VRChat? You've only been around for a couple months compared to someone like me who's been around for almost two years now. Yeah. Well, you could start it off with Knuckles, but not really, because when the Knuckles meme was going around, I only knew about it because PewDiePie talked about it, oh, and man. then all of my <laughs> and then all of my friends in school were talking about it, and there were like Snapchat filters where you could put the Knuckles like on your camera and like have them dance everywhere on the world what? so we were doing that in school yeah <laughs> but like i never knew that it was a vr chat thing and that i didn't know about the game basically i i was so oblivious to it completely like i watched animations and i watched people draw art of it and i had no idea about vr chat until a few months later a video came out, there was this, I don't know this username, but there was a guy who posted a video of his mute friend starting to talk. And that was recommended to me. I think it had, it has a few million views, I think. 
Oh, snap. And after watching that, I was like, oh my god, this is so cute. I wanna play this game. <laughs> so I tried it, and I went into desktop for like one day, and it made me really motion sick, so I never came back. Oof. Uh, yeah, because I have motion sickness in like most 3D first person games, so I can't really play them. Yeah, it's been like that since I was young, and it, it never got better. Like, people tell you that the more you play, the better it'll get, but... It's been my whole life already. I think it would have been better if it did get better. So, so you can't play, like, any 3D video games, is what you're saying? Not really, but... I do play Destiny 2, which still makes me sick, but I can handle it for, like, two or three hours at a time. What if you play, like, a 2D side-scroller game, like, you know, like Super Mario or something? Yeah, that's fine. Oh, that's interesting. Yeah, that's chill. I, I never, I mm -hmm. think I knew one other person that was kind of like that, where they, like, got sick from playing, like, 3D games. Um, but... It's such a shame. Yeah, like, you're missing out. It sucks out. so bad, especially since I'm studying to go into video games. Yeah, it's like, what the heck? But, yeah. Getting sick. <laughs> I don't know. When I was a kid, I always played video games. I never really got motion sickness. I mean, I would get scared from games and stuff like that. It's a scary game, but I never... I still get motion sickness from VR chat, even after playing for 3,000 hours mm. and being in VR for 2,000. It's because yeah. um, there's a setting that's uh, it's called... What's it called again? Let me look at settings real quick. It's called comfort Hello turning. No, oh, yeah, I Hello. still have to yeah. use that. So, um... You know how it is, like, where, like, you either turn in intervals of, like, I don't know what it is, like, 20 degrees mm -hmm. at a time, or it's really smooth. Yeah. I can't do the smooth turning. It makes the me sick. The smooth one, yeah, it, it me freaks sick. me out. <laughs> it makes me sick within one minute, so I, uh, I just use the other one. It kind of annoys people when they watch me, because, like, every time I'm, like, turning in the game, you just, like, it's, like, yeah. it's, like, jerk. <laughs> so it you looks, just, bloop, bloop, bloop. Yeah, it makes, looks really dumb. So people are always complaining. They're like, yo, use the other one. I'm like, nah, I can't. I get sick. So... Oh, yeah. Your mic is scaring me. Are you okay? Why is it staticking? There's like, it sounds like, yeah, it sounds like you're in a storm. <laughs> oh shit, hold on. Um, let me try and fix one. Oh, that's better. Unless you just turned it off, then. Yeah, just turn it off one second. <laughs> okay, let's see if this works. Is that better? Yeah. All I did was just turn it down. Oh, okay. Um, I could try and like... I feel like I'm gonna forget what I was saying. I never finished talking about how I got into the art chat. Hello? Hello? Can you hear me? Hello! I'll come. Yeah. What, what's going on here? I don't know. It's okay now. Uh. I don't know why you sounded like you were in a winter storm. That was weird. I, I my mic was not muted, and I was talking, but it wasn't picking it up. What oh. the fuck? That's never happened to me. And I had this mic for like three months. That was really awkward. I'm sorry. <laughs> it's okay. Is it uh? Is it good now? Mm -hmm. For Gucci? Yeah, I'm sorry about that. I think yeah. the reason why my mic is staticking is because my Oculus Rift, so the, the headset I own, is almost two years old and it's like breaking down. Oh, and then yeah. when in my microphone, when this oh, no. when this mic uh, goes to this headset, 
it starts staticking. It goes like, like it just goes like mental whenever it <laughs> oh, gets close. God. So if it happens again, I'll just switch it to the Oculus Rift mic, which is ass, but at least it okay. still works. So yeah, that's really shitty. I apologize, everyone. But anyway. Don't worry about it. Anyway. Um, anyway, as you were saying. Yeah, that that video was cute. It was adorable. Do you remember who it was? Uh. Yeah, I mean, I don't remember the person that posted it, but I do know that the person talking was Grimsy VR. Grimsy because VR. Because I followed them, and when I got into VR chat, they followed me back! And I was so excited about it, because that's the person that made me want to get VR. Mm -hmm. <laughs> anyway, yeah. Uh, I played desktop, and I went into some Russian map, but it was empty. <laughs> but I Russian just walked map. around a few <laughs> maps. <laughs> I don't know, it was like buildings. And like in the middle there was a patch of grass. Honestly, mm -hmm. I don't remember. But yeah, it made me sick after like five or ten minutes, so I left. And what I never heck? came back to it until the new year of 2019, where I went into that New York map mm -hmm. and I talked to some people, but I was so scared. So scared. So I, I was basically muted the whole time, but it was fun. There were glow sticks and everything. But yeah, after that I still got sick so i left the game and i kind of gave up on it and then a few months go by and i see one of my really old friends patty streaming vr chat on twitch and i was like whoa what's this so i started watching them and i don't know it just looked so fun and i started talking to them and a lot of other people and I just couldn't hold back my urge anymore. I had the money, so I just went and bought a Vive. Like, I was so scared that I would get sick in VR itself because I get sick on desktop, so... Mm -hmm. I'm probably gonna get sick in VR. Of course. But I'm not. Yeah, what? I'm actually quite good here. What the hell <laughs> I'm the like heck? the opposite of most people. What? That makes no sense <laughs> at all. <laughs> But yeah, so Patty's finally pushed me to get that VR. Did you um? Did you ever get um? What should I call it? Did you ever get like not my hands or like get like weird, like you take off the headset and you like your hands don't feel like they're real or anything like that? Yes, yes, I still get that. That's so strange. Sometimes I wake up in the middle of the night and I'm like, whoa, <laughs> hands. Yeah. <laughs> I got that um, the first week of my VR last year, but I don't get that any stuff anymore. I don't even get Phantom Sense. Um, it doesn't really have a name for it. I think people just called it like in random like Reddit and forum posts called like my, not my hand syndrome. So basically, mm -hmm. when you mm -hmm. use VR for so long, right, you always look at your hands like in the game, and then when you look at your real hand, um, y your hands won't l look real, and they just they're not look real, but they just mm -hmm. won't, they'll feel weird. Like it just it's really hard to explain yeah. for the people who never had VR. But that only happened for me to for a few <laughs> days. I thought I was going crazy. I was just like, "What the heck?" <laughs> and then um, I stopped. So yeah, especially with the index now, it's like, "Oh, hands!" Oh, you have like I got index. new fingers. Yeah, I got it like a week ago. God dang it! I don't even have index. What the heck, man? I'm jealous. I ain't got, I ain't got <laughs> nothing. Fun. I ain't got no full body. I ain't got. I've been playing this game wow. almost two years. I'm a bum. Soon. Soon, yeah. That's, that's, actually, know, that's actually what my donation um, goes for. <laughs> so. Yeah, I saw. Good luck. The the five controllers. They're like huge and kind of heavy. Mm -hmm. you, I don't know if you have helped them before, but they, nope. yeah, they are kind of heavy. And when I I like. I like this gesture, right? It's my open hand gesture. Yeah. I close my eyes and I purr. And to do that on the Vive, I would have to actually press the button. Oops, sorry about that. Whoa. <laughs> the so what the? <laughs> what's up the knife? <laughs> Wholesome, <Yeah>. by the way. <laughs> Wholesome, exactly. But yeah, to do that gesture on the Vive, I'd have to actually press the button. And I would be pressing that button a lot. And I it would be hurting my hands to... Oop to constantly press that button so to be able to just do it with actually opening my hands now it's so much nicer mm -hmm. especially in beat saber these controllers hurt way less because they're just attached instead of you holding them 
Yeah, it's true. I mean, I I I I really don't know until I get the index. So who knows? <laughs> Whatever that will be. As an but... artist, I really need my hands because I draw a lot, especially now that I study art. I could be drawing for days nonstop. I study art. I remember that one time. You do? Whoa. Um. Yeah, I'm, that one uh, time I was drawing from 10 a.m. to 5 p.m. nonstop, and it hurt so bad. Damn. What do you study? Uh, well, I have a degree in interactive media design, which is how to make websites Ooh. and like coding and designing. Oh, that's and so And then cool. um, I took my two-year degree, and then I went into 3D animation and character design. Which is basically how to make video game characters and like basically how to like model video, like Whoa. VR chat characters and like level design and stuff. Basically, I, I made this do. world. I mean, I mean this is pretty basic, but I made wow. a couple other worlds, and then um, I've done a little bit of model work. But um, basically, one of my classes, which is every Thursday, which is tomorrow's class, is a drawing class. Now here's the biggest oh. thing, though. I've never drawn. I haven't drawn in ten years, so. I took uh, uh yeah. <laughs> I took art for two years in high school and got sixty nine. And um <laughs> when I when I um took art I didn't I just drew like we didn't draw like people, we just drew like circles and cups and objects, not really people. Yeah. And then um mm -hmm, I when it. I went into this program, I wasn't fully aware that it was gonna be like a lot of drawing, so like I had to buy a tablet and everything, and I'm still like an amateur. Yeah, us I'm too. I, I'm still, like, you've drawn for six years. You would be a thousand times better than I. I have never drawn really much, so, like... Actually. <laughs> so, um, it's really awkward, because it's, like, everyone else in my class has, like, sketchbooks, like, filled with, like, 100 pages of, like, stuff and people and perspective and hands and feet and whatever the hell else you're drawing. And I got nothing. Oh my gosh. So it's like, uh... It's just like me. Yeah, but you actually yeah, have drawn art. Spent... I have nothing. I can... Well, I could talk about this forever. I've been... Okay, so I say I've been drawing for six years, but I've been drawing digitally for six years. Like, I've been drawing before that, but it was like random stuff in school that doesn't really matter. So, for the first two years of my art career, I spent it drawing My Little Pony characters. And then I spent it drawing Sonic characters, oh and then God. I drew anime characters, right? Mm -hmm. So, but when I enrolled on this course, I knew that they would teach me how to draw from the ground up. So we, for the last month, I've been drawing in a sketchbook, like you just said, I've been drawing hands, feet, everything. Like, they mm -hmm. were teaching me how to draw everything, because I never knew, because I never studied art, I just kind of drew anime. And that's it. Like, I didn't have any knowledge behind the art that I was making. It was just, um... Stuff that I saw, I drew it that way. Like, I didn't know any of the anatomical structures of the body before, until now. So, I get you. I was not... You can say I'm good at art, but not yet. <laughs> not yet. I see. I get you. Um, for me, it's just, like, I'm even more newbie, because, like, when I first started drawing, like, like, nine weeks ago, when I started my program, <laughs> within, like, the first week, my hand started to hurt, not because I was drawing, like, crazy, it was just because, I don't know, just, was, just being a gamer, just playing games, I actually started, I developed <laughs> Carpal Tunnel in my right hand, and right when I start, oh, right when I'm starting my, my, uh, my second, t or my first term for this certificate, because it's not a degree, and I'm just like, oh, my mm -hmm. right hand's fucked. Uh, uh and my that's why I stopped playing Osu. And then my teacher was like, "Oh yeah, I have carpal tunnel too, but I've been drawing for 20 years and I'm 40 years old." And I'm just like, uh, "I'm only 24 and my hands fucked." What do I do? <laughs> so I I couldn't draw like for weeks because you can't move your hands. So I'm just like, like this. Yeah. So I was just like, uh, "Gotta make sure to stretch." Yeah. And rest. And then, I do my um, best to do that. And then my hand doesn't really hurt as much anymore, but now I have to draw a bunch tonight after this interview. Because I have a, like, a Good checkpoint. <laughs> yeah, I have a checkpoint tomorrow, so I have to draw. Oh, so I have to start drawing yeah, a I bunch of stuff. Yeah, I have a deadline on Friday. Yeah, so we'll see. You know, I actually failed art in my last school. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> I mean, you don't have to, like... Yeah, I did 
awful. <laughs> I mean, for me, I think the problem for me is that because I, I never took art or like had a passion for drawing prior to this class, um, I'm struggling. So I don't know if I will, will, will like move on. You know what I mean? Like I might, I might just drop out. I already have yeah. a degree, so we'll have to figure. Or I might take oh. something else. I don't know. I mean, oh, like. I <sighs> I have other options. We have to see. I have an appointment with my guidance counselor tomorrow. But, um... Mm -hmm. There are many... Huh? We'll, we'll have to see. Sorry. Um, I just... I'll, I'll figure it out. One one way or the other. But, um... Yeah. Yeah, we'll see. I mean, I, I like to draw, but I, I, I just feel like, um... Everyone else is, like, up here. And I'm, like, down here. So, like, the... For everything. Like, not just... Because we also have to take animation and and then a bunch of other stuff. And if yeah. you don't know how to draw, then you can't do 3D sculpting. And yeah, and if you can't 3D mm -hmm. sculpt, then yeah. you can't do that. So it's it's not just like drawing parts. It's like a lot of, a lot of it. Just and um, I don't know. I'm like not doing. I'm not like failing, but I'm not doing too good. So like, and I don't want to like spend more in money you. and then do that. You can stuff. always learn. True. A lot of people come up to me and they say. I wish I could draw, or like, I wish I could learn to draw, but I'm old, and that kind of stuff, like, mm -hmm. come on! It's never too late, like, you're never too old to do anything, you can still learn stuff, just because someone learned it when they were younger, doesn't mean you can't learn it now. True. And True. people that have, and talent doesn't even exist. Just... Talent is just, it, it's not a thing, some people learn things faster, but that's not, that's just, that's just life. That's, Some people that's have what to my art harder. teacher said. Because, like, I told her, I was like, I, I literally straight up, I told my art teacher, I was like, I have not drawn in literally 10 years. Like, my art skill is, sub like, she, the first thing I had to hand in, she's like, show me something you've drawn. And it was like some, <laughs> it was the thing I did in VR chat when I drew a person. It was, like, really bad. <laughs> and and she's like, she's like, what's this? I was like, oh, I drew this in a video game. She's like, it's like, you know, it's like, now I understand your learn your your drawing abilities. I was like, yeah, this is what I did. <laughs> <laughs> it's just like, you'll get better if you keep at it. And then I got to carpal yeah. tunnel, so I was just like, oh, I can't draw now. Aww. So, what the <laughs> so like, GG, pretty much. Just believe in yourself, because I believe in you. But now I do interviews. At least I'm doing something I'm good at. I haven't even been doing this yeah. for a month, by the way. Oh, wow, really? Yeah, my 34th interview. So, oh, wow. Yeah. Every day, that's crazy. Yeah, I, I don't know, I was just crazy. Because, like, most people who do interviews do them, like, once a week or whatever. But I realized that pretty early on that, like, I don't really do much in this game. Like, I used to do a lot and do waifu hunting and, I don't know, mm -hmm. run a, be a pimp and run clubs and <laughs> all this other crap and RP and do all this stuff. But, like... Uh, I feel like it's very stale, and I felt like I need to do something on a day-to-day -day basis. So doing yeah, interviews. it's very cool. It's something different. I still don't know what I'm doing. I'm just running around trying to figure myself out. <laughs> I get you. It's what we all uh, try to do: is try to fi figure out what we can and cannot do. And you know, for me, it's just it's a lot of failing, a lot of failing. And then a little bit of success. Mm-hmm. So after about two years, I feel like I'm actually doing something I enjoy and and can, you know, continue to work on and stuff like that. So, yeah. Yeah. I guess this will bring me to my next question. So, uh, how did you do get into working on making your OC, your character? The one that represents Oh, you, my your gosh. Brand. Right. So... I've I've always had like this one character that I've like always related to that I like drew all the time and obsessed over. I would commission loads of art for her mm -hmm. and I would love her. So at the beginning I had this pony character. She was yellow with purple hair and she had lightning bolts in her hair and she was very edgy. <laughs> and I loved her to bits. But then um when I found Twitch I saw a lot of people drawing anime, and I was like, well, my mom hated me drawing ponies, right? So I was like, okay, I guess I'll draw anime characters, because that's better. <laughs> so I started doing that, and 
At first, my character was just literally me. So, she, so I had short brown hair with like a purple, like a not purple, like a blue streak. So I drew a cat girl with that kind of hair, blue eyes, and then I just gave her an outfit that I liked, and that was it. But over time, my hair grew, and I went to this college, and they said, "You cannot have dyed hair." So I was like, "All right." What? But is red okay? And they were like, sure. It doesn't make sense, but I dyed my hair red. Because that's that's natural. <laughs> it's totally natural. It looks... <laughs> it's... <laughs> yeah, so I dyed it red. And I've had red hair... Oh my god. Oh god. Sorry. That makes no goddamn sense. <laughs> and I've had sense. red hair... It doesn't, but they accepted it for some reason. And I was like, sure, what just whatever. What kind of whatever. school says, Oh, sorry, you have uh, colored <laughs> hair? Like, oh my god, your your hair is blue. What the and hell is with me? I, I don't know, but like, uh, you, you have blue hair. You can't be a student at our college. Oh my, like, what is it's this? It's because it was like, what? it was a kind of strict... Um, because in the UK, we have colleges and also sixth forms. And sixth forms are like an extension to school. Oh my god, my voice. <laughs> an extension to school. And that's where I went. So, and you know, here in the UK, we have uniforms and that kind of crap. So I've been wearing a oh, uniform my whole life. Okay. Yeah, so when I went to the sixth yeah, they form, would, they I had a uniform. They get yeah, fucking I, sued. I wish, but they, now I'm in uni, sued. I'm fine. You can sue their ass if they, they said something stupid <laughs> like that. Oh, that would be amazing. But yeah, after that, I dyed my hair red. And obviously my character had to change as well, so I put dyed her hair red. Mm -hmm. And from there, she just grew and grew and grew. Like, there was a time an artist drew her with white hair tips. And I was like, wow, that looks pretty cool. So I added those and now they are permanent. And I added them on the ears. Obviously, this character doesn't have it because my model was broken with the update. Mm -hmm. <laughs> anyway. Um, yeah. And then I gave her this outfit mm -hmm. that I had IRL. There was this blue shirt that I really liked that I bought in the summer. It was like a tank top, but it had little sleeves cut out, like the shoulders were cut out. And that was really cute, so I put that on her, and then just a gray skirt. But then, I got this artist role in this game. And... The game has quite a few fans, and I was getting lots of fan art of my character from the game. Mm -hmm. And I thought... Because there's gonna be another game coming out next year, and I thought... I need a cuter outfit. So, I just made her a cuter outfit. <laughs> Actually, she has a lot of outfits now. I can't even count them anymore. <laughs> you want to show off so, one of them? Uh, if you want to. I don't have any models. Of, I mean, oh. my models are broken. Oh, okay. Yeah. But in art, she has a lot of outfits. But if you want to talk about my VR chat avatar, the horns... Yeah. I don't know. There was this one night we were in a world and my best friend um showed me this avatar he got. Oh my god, Jesus. Uh this avatar he got and it was Zero Two from Darling in the Franks. And I was like, Wow, she is so cute. I love this anime, it's one of my favorites. And I just uh, she's my waifu, right? And he said I can give you those horns. And I freaked out. I was like, holy shit. You can give me those horns? And here we are. I have horns. Okay. Now I am the waifu. <laughs> I mean, I got 151 waifus. You know, <laughs> who knows? Maybe I'll go on another hunt one of these days and collect more. But not right now. Maybe in the future. I'll be your waifu. <laughs> Darren. Yeah, and then this headband. <laughs> and then the headband matches my um friend. This isn't really a part of it, this is just for fun. I wanna have more things that match. Cause this model is just a random one of VRC mods as a replacement while I wait for my commission. Okay. <sighs> On the sleeve it says my name. But I you do... can't tell, cause I can't twist my arm. I do believe like that, that you are lagging the world because your avatar is like a quarter of a million polys. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> it is, yes. Um. <laughs> so, I'll Sorry. just manage. I'll just manage with it. But uh, normally I don't lag, and I was just like, <laughs> this world is is pretty well optimized because I made. This I world. knew it was me. Like this, this avatar is is a lot. Like I'll, I'll just read off your stats. Help. Like quarter million. Um, <laughs> I mean, you have four no. material. I'm actually at twenty two out of thirty two material slots. You got damn bones, but those are always like It's damage just bone, my polygons. Gone. I have a collision. Three hundred and twenty two collisions. What? <laughs> I mean, well, I, me just, I uh, can touch my ears and stuff, and my hair. Let me look at my avatar real quick. My own stats. Uh, 34 bone collisions. Oh man, you don't even want to see my old avatar. Like, every single hair strand had a collider. It looked beautiful, but, um, <laughs> I just realized I've had, like, eyes closed all this time. Eh. There you That's go. okay. Just index noob things. So, yeah. Um, so, uh, wait a second here. Let me look at my questions. Um, tell me some stories you remember from VR chat, recent or older memories. You've kind of already explained some stories of like how your avatar was about, but just like some stories you've had from VR chat. Oh my gosh, it's hard to think. Um, hmm. There's a lot of memories that I have with loads of different worlds, because obviously I'm really new, so when I go to my very first homeworld that I ever had, it's so nice and nostalgic. I'm still hunting for a homeworld. I'm just like literally changing it every few days because I can't find the one I want. Like, I don't like the sky in this one. The noises in this one are a bit annoying. You can't turn off the colliders here. So, yeah, <laughs> it's hard to find one that I would like. But story about VR chat? My gosh, I don't remember. Uh, recently we had a karaoke night which went a bit wild because it was Friends Plus <laughs> and Darren joined. And he has a lot of friends, and they all came, <laughs> and we were all Sounds singing. relatable to me. We were all, like, desynced. It was fantastic. We sang Never Gonna Give You Up. It made my day. It was amazing. And I guess getting scared by Lolathon are my highlights of my life. It's... I'm so gullible. I can't. Like, <laughs> I'm so stupid sometimes came up to me in that Furby avatar, and I just looked at it, and I was like, Oh, it's a Furby. Of course it's innocent. It doesn't have a name tag. It must be innocent, right? Mm -hmm. And I walked up to it, and he jump scared me, and they screamed, I swear. <laughs> and he sounded so happy about it. Like, <laughs> yeah, you be happy, because I'm easy to scare. <laughs> oh, he gets happy whenever you scare Don't hold somebody. this against me. <laughs> yeah. I'm such an- oh my gosh! I'm such an easy target? He got me twice? In like, a span of like, five minutes. Damn. But to be honest... <laughs> to be honest, I was changing avatars, and like, as soon as I calibrated, I got jump scared, and I was not expecting that, so... yeah. Okay. Yeah, I know everybody, like I said, like, I've been around for such a long time that I knew Loathon and a lot of people, and uh, I'll tell you this now, he hasn't changed since when I first met him. He's always been about making <laughs> avatars every day and making memes and making people smile and laugh. So. He's amazing. I love that. He's definitely one of the people I look up to most. <laughs> Same. I'm very uh -huh. happy that he's uh, successful. I feel like it's long overdue. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Um, how did you get into uh, streaming? Oh, that's fun. Or I've YouTube. been streaming for almost three years now. Really? Crazy, right? Yeah. I have my sub badge is like 29 months on my channel. Whew. Damn. I, I got my sub badge as soon as affiliates came out. That was That was interesting. I was so excited about it. Back then, affiliates could only have one emote. 
and that's it. One emote. Yeah, I remember that. And then they gave us tears. Three. So we could have three emotes. Yeah. I can do fingers. <laughs> and then recently they gave us like five tier one subs. So that was pretty cool. Mm -hmm. But yeah, I struggled to unlock those, but I got lucky. So I started streaming because I used to draw and make speed paints for YouTube. But one of my friends, he was like you know you could be streaming right now because i was uh sharing in skype because <laughs> back then discord didn't have video calls or screen sharing or yeah, anything it didn't. so i we would sit in skype and i would screen share and he was like you could be streaming and i thought oh okay so he set up obs for me and i had the shittiest overlay and my very first stream had mic and face cam so now i can't run away saying i'm never gonna reveal my face because my face has been here since day one <laughs> uh but yeah i streamed art and i was on a laptop it was a hp hp what like a pavilion i don't know it was terrible it had an i3 <laughs> <laughs> wow. and it would lag <laughs> and uh i could only stream for two hours until it would overheat and my frames would start dropping and I would have to end. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the good old times. My two hours are up. Goodbye, guys. But yeah, now I can stream forever. Forever! So how did you get so into uh, YouTube then? Because I was looking and you're making YouTube videos. And most of them are like uh, speed YouTube arcs. is a different story. And then yeah. you uh, you made a summer video and had like 2.4 like million mm -hmm. views on it now. But yeah, that it was a giant collapse. Yeah, but that was a collapse. See, mm -hmm. I didn't when I first saw I, when I first like looked into it, I thought like you made the whole animation, but no, it's actually a collapse between no. a bunch of people. Yeah. But, so I started YouTube a year and a half ago, kind of. So I used to post speed art, speed paints before. Mm -hmm. Before I made these animation videos, but they were pretty bad and they had like, I didn't edit them at all. I just literally recorded my screen, sped it up and posted it. So technically, if I like looked at my Facebook or looked at whatever, it would still be there. <laughs> so I deleted all of that and started again. And I started making animation memes. So what that is, is there are short parts of a song that have like a tiny animation that like loops and repeats to the music it's like it's like an amv but you animate it and it's like a minute long they are really okay. fun it's a really nice community mm -hmm. um so yeah i started doing that in i don't even remember summer 18 yeah because it's 19 now. So I, I, I posted my first animation in the summer of 18. And I was really happy. I had 100, 100 subscribers. And I was just gonna make videos. Because I always wanted to. I've been in this community. This animation community for so many years. But I never had the skills to make my own videos. Mm -hmm. So now that I did. And I got a better PC and everything that I could edit and render videos i finally went fuck it i'm gonna do this i always wanted to do this i'm gonna do it so i did it and through that i met a whole load of friends like oh <laughs> i love them so much uh yeah so through those animation memes i looked at twitch one morning and i saw this girl whose title was Working on an animation meme. And I was like, oh my god. Someone on Twitch that does the same thing that I do on YouTube. So I went into her chat and we became friends. <laughs> and then we met this game developer. Who was working on a game and he wanted artists. And art. So I started working on that and then the game blew up. And then we all blew up. Now they have millions of subs and we all have slack. <laughs> it went crazy. It's only been a year and we've all grown so much i'm so proud of them and i love them and i miss them because <laughs> wow. obviously we don't really we don't talk as much anymore because the the developer is like 
busy making the game and all the other artists are busy drawing the art. Really? Yeah, I wish I could talk to them more. Yeah. Interesting. After growing so much, obviously everyone's gonna Drift be working. Apart. Yeah, busy. Yeah. It's the nature of things. Same could be said for the VR chat community. I mean, back when I started playing mm -hmm. this game, whoops, my arm just went crazy. Um, back when this game was first <laughs> blowing up, the, the community is a lot smaller and a lot more connected with every player. And then uh, as time went on, um, people started drifting apart and like, you know, creating their own communities and like their own sub, yeah. whatever friends groups and stuff like that. And it kind of sucks because someone like me who's been around for so long. A lot of people leave, like a lot of people, they stream or they've been part of this community, then they leave and do their things. And that's part of life. But like, yeah. I've, I've seen it through all, like, uh, it's almost like I've been for like 50 World Wars or something like that. Like, I've, <laughs> I, I've, <laughs> I've seen it all. So it kind of sucks that like a lot of people aren't around as much as, as I am. And I understand that people, you know, minds change and they don't like things anymore. They don't want to be on stream and record or play this game anymore. And they're into new and new mm -hmm. and exciting things but uh i don't know Maybe yeah but there's always new people joining yeah true like meeting you so there's an example of that. <laughs> um what was kind of sucks is that uh meeting new people for me seems kind of difficult i, I played this game for so long i have like 1200 friends but like for me yeah um i have to like actually just dm people these days like if, if I'm not friends with someone that made your lobby or like if I'm not friends with you like in game like because most people hang out in private worlds so it's like impossible to meet someone yeah. unless I was mutually friends with people so quite often these days I have to like either know you, someone mutually like I know Darren obviously so like that's how I got to know you that's just an example mm -hmm. but like <laughs> it, it seems like these days I have to like mutually know somebody to then talk to that person or, or get introduced or whatever but I, I guess also because I've been doing this for so long and people sort of vouch for me because I've been doing this and friends with so many people. So people vouch for me after a while. They're like, oh yeah, that's the guy that does the interviews or does this or whatever. Yeah. I have a lot of people on Twitter that I follow and they follow me back. Mm -hmm. But we've never met in the game and we're not even friends in the game. Because it's just, it's so hard to catch people, especially if they're, like, moved on to stream other games mm -hmm. and that kind of stuff. It's so hard to find them. Especially with the whole private world thing. Yeah, the only way to meet someone for me would to be in, like, friends of friends. And yep. they are there. And I just happen to interact with them. Like, I've been in worlds with people that I am mutual on Twitter with, but we didn't interact. So we're still not friends? Like, you know what I mean? We've been in the same world, but we just didn't talk. So technically, we never met. True. Ah, it sucks. True, I true. wish I could talk to them. Yeah, it, it sucks. Like, it, I feel like, um, I don't know. Sometimes it feels like I, I know so many people, but it's kind of like I'm still a loner. Does that make sense? Like, like Aww, so many people yeah. are, are just busy these days. I understand that I stream and people don't want to be on stream and they don't want to just hang out off stream. I get that, yeah. but it's just so many people are so busy doing their own stuff. Like, there's so many different role plays and different things going on and mm -hmm. whatever and all this stuff. So, I found that the best way to, like, reconnect and, like, talk to people is actually just doing these interviews. Because, like, it's on a personal yeah. level. So, me talking to people for an interview is kind of like a way to reconnect and, and, and get to know people better, so... That's very yeah. nice. You know, when I first got this game, and when I first got VR, I was living with my parents, and like... I only played this game to stream it, I guess? Like, mm -hmm. I didn't have friends or anything yet, so it wasn't personal to me at all. I was mm -hmm. just like, running around worlds is fun, drawing is fun, spray paint is fun, whoa, VR is cool. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but then I moved out, and um... I have a tiny room now, so I have like a tiny bit of play space, but yeah. that's okay. Because I also have a bed in this room. In my other room, I, it was just literally an empty room because when I moved to that house, I specifically made my room empty so that I could play Just Dance. Because 
I used to stream Just Dance with like an actual camera, and now I'm really embarrassed about it. <laughs> we don't talk about hey, that. Hey, you can just dance in VR chat. What do you mean? Exactly. That's that's what I've been doing, and I'm I love it. Mm -hmm. But yeah, um, since I got this bed, I was like, whoa, movie nights are fun because you can just like lay in your bed. Yeah. And movies. since then, I've been chilling more often in VR chat off stream, and that's how I've been. Getting Getting to know people more because obviously off stream you can open up and talk yep. and just chill. So since then it's been more personal to me and I've been spending more of my time here just having a nice time instead of being super hyped because I'm streaming. Exactly. So, yeah. Yeah. I, I love it now. I used to stream this game four to six hours a day and prior to that probably like ten hours a day Ooh. last year. I was crazy. Oh and gosh. um but a lot of times i would just like st stream everything i did like talk to random people talking to friends um mm -hmm. like, obviously i didn't like stream anything that i knew that was like bad or you know like yeah a conversation that shouldn't be streamed i was always uh, i'm I have good social awareness but um yeah like uh we do I, I remember like i would go to like get a shower and i would like sit in like a presentation room I was in desktop mode and like I was just like like all right guys I'm very right back and then like people would be in the room just drawing on me or like talking or whatever. <laughs> like that's how it was. That's I feel like you can't really do that anymore. But back in the day, it was kind of like the social norm that people mm -hmm. would like just leave for 20 minutes and be like, oh yeah, I'm gonna eat dinner, and then people would just hang out. Yeah. And I guess just entertain and be silly or whatever. And it was fun. Yeah, people now, say VR chat has changed a lot, but obviously I wasn't there to experience it. Yeah, it's, uh, some days we always want to go back to the old days, but that's not how it works anymore. You can't mm -hmm. go back, so. It's yeah. gotta move forward, so. Yeah. Uh, I got a question for you. So, have you ever been to, uh, any TwitchCon? Have you been to the TwitchCon in the United States, or have you been to TwitchCon no. EU? I've never been to any con in my life. Oh, like, relatable. actually. Same. I've been such a shut-in. It's crazy. I, like, literally never had friends. Until now, oh. now that I'm in uni, I like live with people and everyone in my course is just so nice. I've never experienced, like, everyone on my course is a freaking weeb. We all watch My Hero Academia. It's like, Weeps. it's so mad. I've never seen so many weebs in one place in my life. <laughs> but yeah, so now that I have friends, we're like going clubbing, going to places, restaurants. Runs? Sure, and we're like going to each other's flats and hanging out. It's mad. So yeah, I will be going to a Comic Con, and I am going to TwitchCon EU. Yeah, which is in next Amsterdam. Year. Yes, I'm going. I'm so excited. It's gonna be so fun. We'll have to see. I, 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 yeah, I. For me, it's not about um, wanting to go or anything like that. It's it's more about money. I just I just can't afford it so mm -hmm. like, <laughs> i've been a... saving up my money for like this one occasion someday something will happen and you will need this money and twitchcon is this thing that i've been waiting for <laughs> sorry no, it's fine. i'm just way too excited no, it's, it's fine uh like for me it's the it's the sadder reality that i've been playing this game for so long and i've made so many friends like close good friends and they've never they never met me in real life. Like they've seen my face. I've done face cam before yeah. on stream, and I've done mm -hmm. video calls with them a couple times. So they know what uh -huh. I look like, and they know quite a big deal about like my my uh, life. But like to mm -hmm. meet in person is a completely different experience. Obviously, right? Like going somewhere and you know having fun yeah. together and messing around. And so we'll see. Yeah, it's maybe really crazy maybe thing. next year we'll see. I, I'm I I don't have a job, so it's not like I have money at just uh disposal so yeah, i don't know but um yeah my current thing is just for index and getting full body because i never experienced full body so i, I feel like uh, having full body's full... awesome yeah, exactly i'll be dancing yeah. i mean i got the avatar for you know yeah these thick thighs you know they're just you'd love it just crushed, just crushed <laughs> they're the going to waste yeah we exactly. need the thighs yeah I crush got people yeah exactly we need crush people <laughs> Um, so we've been going for almost uh, 12 minutes from an hour, so 48 minutes now. Um, does any questions yep. in the chat? Does anyone have any any questions for uh, you or I? 
Um, this is the floor. If there's none or people can't think of something, I always have questions in my brain. I've done this many times, so. Okay. We'll give a minute, but. Uh, I feel like I've been talking for so long. Ooh. Same. I, well, I've for never me. I've talked uh, so much before. <laughs> I feel like for me, um, time goes really fast. Like, it's just kind of crazy. Yeah. Um, yeah. One question I have uh, written down is like, what do you think is the future of VR? To me? Yeah, to you. Whoa, I don't know. I'm so new, I don't even know anything. Like, when this stuff came out, I was like, mind blown. I still don't know how it works, but this is freaking great. It's making the boundary between VR and reality, like, a little bit less. And that's kind of scary. Because, you know, some people, like, actually get addicted to being here. Yeah, some people sleep in this Hopefully game. I won't be one of them. I mean, yeah, I've done that. <laughs> oh, you have? I haven't. I've never slept in this game. I don't think I ever could. I need my bed. I have a bad back and a fucked up neck and fucked hands, so I'm pretty sure I need my bed. Yeah, it does hurt if you're not comfortable. But I, um, I'm a degenerate. I have a body pillow. <laughs> oh my goodness. It helps. <laughs> I mean, I say that, but I'm going to be getting a body pillow of my avatar eventually, so I guess I can't really... Yes, I want to make one of mine as well. It's on my list of to-do things. I really... Yeah. Although, I don't think I'll be selling it. I feel like that I'll sell would it. be a bit strange. I'll sell it. That means people can uh, sleep with my I don't OC. think I will. You can sleep with me. That's a bit strange. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, like I'm a dude that plays a chick. I'm I don't want to sure know what and... people would be doing to that. What a, <laughs> whatever. I mean, people do weird th stuff every day. I mean, yeah, I know. it's whatever. Yeah, I know. <laughs> I think it's fine. Yeah, that would be fun. Um, I have a question from Killa. He says, uh, or he or she says, do you plan on staying in VR chat? Me? Both of course. Of I love it. Um, yeah, I mean, I've played this game almost two years now, so I don't see myself quitting. It's kind of part of my life. Um, if something else yeah. comes out and it's like VR chat, but better, sure, I'll hop over. But uh, currently, yeah, I, just, I mean, I literally play this game literally every day, like for literally two <laughs> years. So to randomly just like be like, oh, I'll see you guys later, like that doesn't seem like me. Um, I'll still yeah, like it would to be do hard stuff. To leave. I mean, many people have branched off and done other things. Will I branch off eventually? Sure. I'll be lying to myself if I said no. But um, not not currently. I'm still having fun with this game. I mean, I do this. I do interviews. It would be randomly random if I started doing these interviews and just like, oh, no, I'll see you guys later. I'm going to play COD now. <laughs> play, all right, sure. I mean, I do play other games, but yeah. I don't really stream them. They're more for, just for myself and stuff like that. And mm -hmm. So, yeah, not anytime I soon. still draw on stream. I've never stopped drawing on the stream. I did a little bit because I needed a break from it. So I did switch over to VRChat a little bit when I first got VRChat, but mm -hmm. now I'm kind of equally doing art and VR. Trying to balance it out a bit more. But my timetable is like... It's so random. I could never have a stream schedule because... you. Know, never know when you're gonna need to like go study or go print something or like when your friends are gonna be like hey let's go out for lunch or let's go out for dinner you just you never know when something's gonna happen so i uh, stream whenever i yeah. can well for me uh, and, i have um, a pretty I have a pretty tight schedule so like i only have like two hours of stream i guess i used to stream way more but because yeah, of college nice. and because uh my parents go to bed like really early I have to be quiet at night. I mean, oh, I can still yeah. technically I can still stream, but unless you want to hear me ASMR whispering for like three <laughs> three hours. <laughs> that was literally me when I tried to play just dance on stream. I'd have to do it at like five p.m. because oh my, my room was right above my mom's, mm -hmm. and my mom would hate me stomping and like playing the music. So yeah, that sucked. But since I moved out, mm -hmm. I. I have been really loud, but no one's complained yet. I don't oh, know if there's shit talking behind my back, but... Yeah, so the thing is, I live in a flat with five... Uh, four other people, and our rooms are like... Like, in a row. Okay. And my neighbor is never home. Like, the only time... Like, literally, she's just never here. She's always in her actual how home home. 
she's never here for some reason, I don't know. But I guess I got lucky, now I can scream. <laughs> Especially when I get jump scared, I get so loud. Or when I get excited. Sometimes I'm like, Cloud, shut up, you're being so loud, it's like midnight. <laughs> I get you. But yeah. Yeah, I can't it's, do that. It's nice here. <laughs> I can't scream. Because my mom like would that. complain about noise at like 7 or 8 p.m. Like, Mom, come on. Yeah, it sounds like it sounds It's not like even my mom. that late. Sounds like, that. Oh, sounds like my <laughs> mom. Cause she goes to bed like randomly. like and That's why I only do these interviews for an hour. Because like, mm -hmm. my mom literally goes to bed like probably any minute between one minute from now to like an hour from now. So yeah. It's really why random. Why do moms go to sleep so early? It's so strange. I mean... My mom's like... I guess they just like their sleep. Yeah, they just like sleep. But, uh, it just sucks. So, um, we have like five minutes. Yeah. So, any uh, any other questions anyone have in the chat? Just let me know. I'll read them out. I can read chat if I look at my hands. Magic. Because it just I appears... I see it. Yeah, it just appears in my face. It's very magical. That's cool. Um. Also. Yeah? Oh, I Sorry. was about to say, if you have any questions for me, you can ask me something. I'm not sure. Anything. Anything you want to know about me. Considering we, we never really met, so... So, wait, you've been... You've been playing this game for a long time, so how did you get into it? Uh, because it must sure. have been not very popular all um, that long time ago. I can explain that. I've said this story many times on interviews, but I could explain it I again. Know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, so how I got into this game was December 10th, 2017. I know that date because when you install games on Steam, Aww. it tells you the day that you purchased Aww, it. chat. Cute. Um... Oh my god, if, I should look at it. Yeah, you, you have to go, like, go to your purchase history. You know, VRChat's a free game, you still purchase a free game. Whatever. Anyway, that's how I know that day. Um, and um, I got into this game because of uh, live stream fails, which is a subreddit, which is really popular among like streamers and oh, yeah. fails in general, but doesn't really just post fails. It posts just generic whatever. Um, that, and I used to follow a lot of um, compilation channels on YouTube like Twitch fails and Twitch moments and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. So um, when I watch, the, I watch them every single day. Uh, most of them are just whatever streamer doing something stupid. And then it started showing these VR chat clips um, from uh, Pokeballs mm. and um, Strippin and Soda Poppin and a few other popular streamers also on live stream fails. And these things would get like super upvoted and they would get super amount of, uh, you know, uh, what do you call it, like traction or likes or whatever. And mm -hmm. I've never seen the game before, so I was like, what the hell is this VR chat game? Because, like, he's moving his hands, and he's, like, talking to people, and, like, punching people yeah. in the face. I'm like, what's going on in this game? And I just start, like, every clip is just hilarious. Like, just the most randomest, dumbest things I've ever seen. I kept laughing so hard. So I checked out a couple people who streamed the game, their VODs, and I was like, oh my god, I love this game. But I said, like, to myself, I don't have VR. How do I play this game? And then I found out you can just download it on Steam for free without in desktop mode. Of course, it's very limited. Yeah, a lot of people don't know that. And um, that's how I got started. I uh, found out from just the game blowing up in uh, early December and and made my account. And I played when there was less than a thousand people uh, in the game. It blew up the highest of wow. it was ever was. I think it was twenty two thousand at the end of December. So only in less than ha less than a month, it had twenty two thousand people in. Now it has about six thousand ish. Mad. Yeah, because uh, mm -hmm. when I right after I started playing, um, like every the game blew up, like it was all over. The knuckles blew up. Every, almost every popular streamer was playing this game at some point, at least once or twice. Mm -hmm. And uh, I was just like in the, in the middle of it. I was like, "What the heck?" So yeah. <laughs> it's kind of crazy. Yeah, I remember I was following because I'm a huge PewDiePie fan, I guess. I've been watching him since his very, very beginnings and I've always stuck by. Mm -hmm. I remember when he got an Oculus, like the very first Oculus, and he was playing horror games on it. I was like, wow, this is awesome, and I would love this, but obviously it's not even out yet. Mm -hmm. And when then it came out and it was super expensive, so I never got that, but here we are! Yeah, here it's we are. affordable now! Yeah, exactly. Um... Yeah, for, for me, it took me a month to get VR, but, uh, yeah, it was a different time. It was a lot of fun. Obviously, I wish I could always go back to that. Um, Watcher says in the chat, is there anything you like to experience in VR that you haven't done? 
Uh, you have any answer for that? I'm just thinking right now. Like, there was this world that I went to recently with a friend. It was like... It was like it was like a life experience world or something, and you would like walk through it. It was darkness, and you would walk from like one light to another light, and it was oh. so awesome. I think that's the that was blind like one world. of the best things ever. I think Oops. I want more of that. I think that I know is what you're so about. cool. Yeah, I went like, to that map. Like things that, yeah, things that you can't do in reality. Like that was amazing. You, I don't, I can't you should try it. the canvas world. You can actually draw in this game, like, properly on a canvas. Oh, well. <laughs> yeah, I've I know, seen, like, uh, little tablets that you can, that you can no, grab a pen is, and, this like, No, this is actually, it. like, a canvas, and you actually draw on it. Um, Leafons is another artist, and she actually just streams drawing in VR chat. Like, like wow. really, like, highly yeah, detailed. Yeah, some people are so good. Yeah. Especially in that spray paint world. It's so amazing. I'm so impressed by so many people in VR chat. You're all just crazy. You're all crazy. You're good. Yeah, I'm crazy. Oh uh, for me, I, I guess like the most simplest answer would be I never had full body, so I mean, <laughs> I never experienced it. So I mean, I, I like to have full body. Come on. I mean, okay, that's kind of I had full body once, but it was the Kinect. So I had the Xbox One Kinect. Oh yeah, I have one and, as well. And um, let's just say my room is very small and condensed and it's basically a bathroom stall. So like when I try and use my uh, Xbox One, it would take like an hour to set up every single time. Like one hour, like Aww. every single day. And I could only move Damn. literally one foot in front of me backwards and side to side. And yeah. um, if I try to lay, like, do anything, like, sit on the floor or jump or whatever, it just, like, yeah, fuck up the avatar and, like, flip yeah. out. So I was just like, this is dumb. So, yeah, I got lucky with my full body. So, yeah, I need to, uh... I got... Sorry, go ahead. <laughs> Sorry. Um, so I got, I got the VR, right? And I used up everything I had in my bank. And at the time, I knew, like, literally nothing. I had zero knowledge of VR. And I didn't realize you had to put the base stations really high up. So I was talking to a friend that I made. I was talking to Fiji, and I was like, holy shit, I just used up all my money. I don't have any money to buy the stands. But, uh, yeah, luckily, I got paid from Twitch. So I got the stands, and... I didn't realize how important it was to have the base stations, like, angled down. So only recently did I angle them down oh because I bought man. these, like... <laughs> I bought these, like, ball head things that you can just, you know, tilt whatever way you want. Um, and... With the full body, I got... Like, I got my VR. And then, I like, a month later, I went on vacation. But before I went on vacation, I got a sponsor on YouTube. And a... Oh, yeah, I got paid for it. And when I was on vacation, I was like, you know what? I'm just gonna use this money to get full body. And I did, and I was so happy, and I got so lucky. I wish I had sponsors so in this blessed. interview stuff, come on. It was bad, man. <laughs> I'll sponsor you. <laughs> yeah, I'll say sponsor me. Yeah, I'm just saying, sponsor me, and listen. I'll do it. I mean, every podcast It's has hard sponsors. to get Twitch sponsors. I mean, YouTube sponsors are like flies. They will come to anyone. They'll be like, Make an ad for our game and we'll give you a hundred dollars. Like, yeah, sure, it's hardly any effort for me, right? And like, it doesn't really matter. So. Mm. Yeah, but Hell I have yeah. viewership though. I don't have any, so like, they're not gonna give me a sponsor. Mm. But like, two viewer Andy, you know, it's like, who cares about you? Mm. But if you get like a million viewers, and like, they're like, Hell yeah, gamer. That's how business works. Um, but uh, yeah, fortunately. Uh, well, we've been going for just over an hour now, so. Um, this is usually mm -hmm. where I like to wrap it up. I always take, uh, okay. time to look, you know, make beyond time anyway. So, um, if there's anything you want to plug, if you want to, you know, uh, shout out your YouTube, your Twitch, your Instagram, your Snapchat, whatever the hell you got going on, any projects <laughs> you're working on, any art, any contest, birthday, Actually, subathon. I have been working on merchandise for like a month now, so I'll be releasing that probably in a few days so follow me on twitter it's literally at flashy cloud it's really cool it is like i worked really hard on it it looks amazing it's got like hoodies with like prints on the back and on the sleeves it's so cool i swear 
<laughs> yeah, that's that. I'm really bad at plugs. I can't even plug things in my own stream. I'm just like, follow me, please. Thank you. Bye. <laughs> okay. Yeah, that's fine. Um, I'll do my thing, and then I will we'll be good to go. After that, I just take a selfie. But yeah, anyway, thank you so much for stopping okay. by. I really do appreciate it. Again, um, just thank you so much, like taking your time out of your day to be here. And if you haven't already, uh, I do these interviews literally almost every single day. There's a few days I, I tend to miss because of things, but yeah, every single day, late mm -hmm. night of Rebel, uh, that's me. Uh, these will also be posted on YouTube at a later time, so check out for that. Stay tuned, and uh, I'll have another interview hopefully tomorrow or Friday and so on and so forth. So thank you so much. And then the uh, last part is uh, take a selfie. This is the awkward part because this is a stream, so you can't like just cut it, you know. But um, hold on here. I'll get it all set up here. You want me to get up? Yeah. I'll, uh, I'll tilt it down. If I have to get in my lay, I might. <sighs> Look at that. There, it works. Are you ready? Yeah. I'll take one more. Boom. There we go. <laughs> Easy clap. That's adorable. Yeah, thank you so much. Hold on here, I need to... Thank you! Oop. My gosh. Here we go, I got it. Well, thank you. Um, I'll see you around, gamer. I hope you have a good day. Uh, be wholesome. Stay in school. Um, always wholesome. Yeah, always. You too. Uh, Please do not quit. Yeah, I'm totally wholesome. Uh, absolutely. I never do anything <laughs> bad in this game. If you judge me, you're nope. just being judgmental, you know? Don't judge a book by its literally cover right there. What are you turning into? I'm scared. Oh. Just recalibrating. Oh. Oh, lewd? What the <laughs> heck? What is, what is this? I knew you were lewd the entire time. I, I said it as a joke yesterday and I'll oh say no. it again. I knew you were lewd. Anybody, yeah, anytime someone says they're wholesome, they're secretly lewd. It's... <laughs> I knew it. Oh, that's a lie. I'm actually 